My name is so Sophia doesn't have a virus. She didn't feel the need to buy compression socks. But this helps your blood circulate for long flight. You know, sitting down, you need good circulation. So compression socks is a must. Where you are, Sophie? I need that. <laughs>
So KK, how was it? Very long. <laughs> Very long. So happy and so blessed that we have landed. Made it safe on the passport. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> 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 he said you broke my heart. <laughs> Finish, made it safe. Made it safe, made it out of passport control, almost hit the man, but he said I broke his heart. So, hey, you can't win. But I did win though. Yes, look, so y'all look. Y'all look. KK fired $100 on the floor as soon as we land. And 100 two dinars. US. Two dinars from Jordan. That's what you call bless. Right, free money. Was so passport control, this was on the ground. I was like, Sophie, you think this lace with fentanyl? <laughs> <laughs> you would have done been tremoring now. I still pick it up, y'all. I think I feel hot. <laughs> <laughs> I rebuke that. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Exactly. Yeah, but y'all look, girl. Girl, we have money for our grab. <laughs> The flight didn't feel as long as I thought it was going to feel. I guess it was like the perfect mix between England and Dubai. So okay. it was like a, a sweet spot. Because I thought I would have been like, get me off this plane. But when I really woke up, it was like an hour and a half left to go. So passport control here in Turkey was five minutes. How was the meals on the flight? It was decent. You know, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad at all either. I had breakfast, but I didn't film it because I forget. But now I gotta go charge this camera for a little bit. She eat up all the food, y'all. But the fruits were top there. Um. So what's the what's the highlight? The, the hundred dollars. The, <laughs> the highlight is the free money. We just get a free hundred dollars as soon as we land. You're gonna bust that up right now. <laughs> On to these Turkish streets. Period. Poo. <laughs> 
Sí. Tú, tú quieres sin filtro este fruta. Melegrano. Mela. Mora. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Uh, shawarma or some kind of wrap thingy with lamb, <laughs> yogurt, garlic, yogurt sauce, and some spicy chili. I don't know what this is like yet, but it's chicken with rice, look like fries on it. And it's like pito. Watermelon juice, my favorite. Cake just went with a old faithful Sprite. y'all this is inside Istanbul airport I mean this place is just like a mall it's huge it has everything like they've really designed these these airports where if you have a long layover it's not a problem at all you have so much to do So right now guys, it's like a little after midnight. Our flight to Singapore is 2 a.m. Turkey time. Um, it's another 11 hour flight to Singapore and when we land there, it's gonna be 5 p.m. So, been through so many time zones, uh, starting to feel tired because we left Miami 9.45 Miami time. 11 hour flight when we landed in Turkey. My body felt like it was supposed to be like 8, 9 a.m. but it was actually 3.30 p.m. Now it's um, now we're gonna go and skip it, go into the future again. So when we land in Singapore, it's gonna be 5:50 p.m. on Saturday. Um, so not knowing, hopefully I can get some sleep on this flight because I didn't really sleep too much on the first flight, but my body's feeling it now. Um, hopefully I can sleep for this this last flight when we get to Singapore, be rejuvenated to go explore, see the sights, uh, check out all of the, the the amazing sights in Singapore. And what I'm looking for, guys, is checking out the hawker centers uh, for the food. And what a hawker center is, it's actually like a food court. It's where locals eat. It's really inexpensive. It's actually one of the places where you can get like Michelin star restaurants for like $5. So I'm excited to go and experience that. I've been watching it on YouTube for forever. So to actually be able to do it and experience it, next level. So here's leg number two of the journey. Let's go. So we just landed in Singapore. It's been a long trip. I am exhausted. I'm so tired of sitting down. I just want to bathe and stretch my legs. Bro, I know, grateful to be here and to make this trip, but boy, that's long. I might have to consider next time just going direct. There's one direct flight to Singapore from New York to Singapore direct, and it's like 18 hours. That's kind of rough to be in a plane one shot, but I think. Let me know in the comments what you would prefer. Two 11 hour flights with a break in between or one direct 18 hour flight. No matter what, to get on this side of the world, the journey is long. But we made it, God is the greatest man. Um, being over here on the east side of the world, away from the west, we're still in the airport. KK actually using the bathroom right now in Claire Customs and see this airport. This airport is supposed to be the number one airport in the world. Um, and it's some sightseeing to do in the airport. So we're gonna check that out before we leave the airport and head to the hotel. So y'all keep watching man, stay tuned. We're here in Singapore.
Okay, so we just arrived to the, the room here in Singapore. Hotel is called Hotel Yotel. What you can see is that it's very small, but still very nice. This bed, I saw um, online it can like move. It's like a convertible bed. These buttons do something. This is interesting that the wash, what you call this, that the vanity is outside of the bathroom. Little area for, to hang your clothes, of course, a TV, some hanging space, some slippers. The bathroom is pretty cool though. The bathroom has a view, gee, of the city. And this is what you call a wet bathroom where everything just gets wet in the same area. There's no real separation between the toilet and the shower, but pretty nice. But this view though, is everything. Nice. Very nice. And then you also have this for hanging. And then a little closet space right here for iron and board. Little amenities. Not bad. Not bad at all. But it shows that in Asia, everything's much smaller than in the States. Thank you. We finally get our first quick meal in Singapore before we go to sleep. Yeah, so our first night is a is a wonko. All I wanted to do is bed. I feel brand new. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Take a shower. Hot shower. All right. Super uni. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Going to walk up a little bit of food real quick. Late night stroll. Okay, what did you just say? You must be doing what? You said it's be jumping out of all of there like doors, look like walls. Let's see what's going on in these Singapore streets. 10, 10 p.m. at night. Well, I'm on my night clothes. You know, she don't have no law, so she's doing she feel like doing. No, it's the back on your I literally have on my night clothes. So, you think I'm on my night clothes. I just show on a jacket. Just be already bathed, already shower. We just come to take a little walk. What do want? I tell this girl, put clothes on. These people can treat. What are much more clothes I need than this? We ain't going nowhere. Button the jacket up. Lawless. So check it out, Stitch by KK. And yeah, so I was just 
filling them in on what we're up to today. Today we're going to be going to some of the local places, so it'll be wise if you would keep up with us on our Singapore journey through the Garden City or the city in a garden. What else, Sophie? <laughs> Probably somewhere, probably two dollars or three dollars, but not bad for toast and two drinks.
certain scent well that scent is all over Singapore that scent that five-star scent top tail so clean Bujas Street, uh, in Ch little Chinatown, little India. We're doing a food tour, but we just hop off another bus, and that was just showing like historical sites, etc., etc., like all those like key things that you'd want to see when you come to Singapore. So now we're on the food tour, and we could we could hop off and do any either one, and also included is a night tour. So and then it's like multiple multiple days so that's so cool like you could pay for two days and you could get to go food regular tours and night tours i think that's pretty cool So now we finally made it to the famous Maxwell Food Center. This is where they have the world famous chicken rice. Now, I learned to hack. This booth right here is actually the chef from the Michelin star chicken rice stall in this hawker center, but he actually started his own business. So what I've learned through my research is that if you just check out his stall, you won't have to wait on the long line that's always at the other vendor. So I ordered the staple, which is chicken rice with a soup and it comes with a chili sauce. Guys, this was something that I've been looking forward to for this entire trip. It was a medium size that I got and I think it costs less than six Singaporean dollars, which is about, you know, $4.75 um, in US dollars. So I was so excited to get this plate to the table so I can definitely just dig in. One of the coolest things about the Maxwell Hawker Center is that they have Michelin star restaurants with food for under five bucks. Chili pepper. Right. Okay, 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 okay. Without anything, and I'll try with this chili. This rice with this, we go. Let me see. Thank you. 
Live up to the hype. Rice is very flavorful. Have like a lemongrass flavor. Coconut, coconut milk. KK here getting some gyozas now. Let's see what they're hitting for. Good food. When the line long, food good. Okay, so this is what you call char siu. That's pork belly with roasted pork over rice. Looks really good. I'll try to roast the pork first without anything. I like it. Show you a little bit of 
And guys, this plate, this was a small, this is five dollars. So about three seventy-five US. And I spent about a five dollars there. And we done a three things. Dumplings, chicken rice, char siu and roasted pork, coconut water, avocado, and our bill total was $1.50. We spent about $23 on every day. 23 Singaporean, so a little less than $20 US on all the food we had today. And guys, if you come to Singapore and you want to try stuff, I recommend you like share so you can try stuff so you're not full from the first thing. Plus, you'll be very slim if you're weight conscious like me. The roasted pork is like, you know when you get kingdom rib from the Chinese? You know when you get ribs from the Chinese restaurant where it's like sticky and it's just sweet and like charred and even wet? That's what it's like. But it's not dry either, but it's that flavor. Really, really good. Right yeah. Here's a fun fact. Gum is even permitted in Singapore. It's basically illegal. No gum. So make sure don't bring no gum and be chewing no gum and blowing no bubbles in your hair. I can't see a tree. Because she lawless. And then the police come for her, she'd be right there. No, no, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> so we're about to leave Chinatown right now and now we're about to head to Mer Lion Park and we'll see Marina Sands and we'll see Gardens by the Bay so we're gonna go there from you know it's about 3 p.m. now we're gonna see some sights but we want to be there in time for the light show this evening so um, y'all let's go let's go it's super excited man super surreal to be able to just really be here um, after all this time of planning the trip I think I'm liking Asia not gonna lie look at how clean and pristine it is